Good morning. Here we are again in the restroom. And guess what? We're going to have some more toilet talk for you this morning. The other day I was talking about washlets and how wonderful and handy and convenient they are. And um, <clears throat> well, I have an interesting story to tell you. When I first came to Japan, one of the most amazing things that I experienced Experience, I thought it was really, really weird and stupid. It was just one of those bizarre Japanese things. Well, let me back up a little bit. I moved to a small town. This was the second time around, I guess. Moved to a small town in the mountains over here in Fukui. And I was living next door to the school I was teaching at. And next door to the school was an old jinja or shrine called Surugi Jinja. And, um, you know, they had an outdoor toilet there, restroom, one side for men, one side for women with a urinal and a toilet. And the interesting thing is that on the wall here, there was this little device that when you pressed it, it made the most amazing flushing sound. <laughs> kind of like this. The purpose of this, when I asked people what the hell it was for, the purpose of this I found out was to conceal the sounds that we make, the Japanese make during your bowel movements. Now, I guess it depends on the, every culture how different things, you know, that they're ashamed of or private and hide and this and that, different ways of doing things. Some people run water all the time. Some people, like my great grandmother, would never use the toilet when there was ever anybody in the house. Things like that, you know. But here in Japan, they came up with this amazing Otohime, or sound princess, that uh, is designed to conceal the sounds without flushing water and wasting water. Now, I thought this was really, really stupid in the beginning. But 20 years later, I'm not so sure how stupid it is anymore, you know? Because... Whoops! Because, because nowadays, when Japan is getting really heavily into it, everything has got to be eco, eco, you know, ecological, eco-friendly, and that's how they're remarketing everything. So there's kind of a resurgence in this, because people are still self-conscious about the sounds that they make in the toilets, especially when the walls are so thin and the neighbors are so close and you can actually hear your neighbors going to the restroom. It kind of makes sense again, you know? So there's a resurgence. I was searching on the net. I really wanted to get one of these babies, buy it so that I could show you out there in the world another one of these crazy Japanese ideas that aren't really so crazy anymore. Um, I looked and searched and I bid for one. It went up way too high, like up over, started at $10 and went up to $50 and stuff like that. And then there were other ones. They're like, you know, sensors. You walk in, they make the noise. You put your hand over them, they make the noise and that kind of stuff. But they're way up on like $200, $300. These are technological marvels by Toto, you know, the same manufacturer that makes this kind of watch. Let's see. I just kept checking once in a while and everything. And I came upon an auction and I got it. It's an old one really nice and clean. He even put brand new batteries in it for me. But you know what? Let me show you something really, really cool. The really cool thing about this auction is I didn't get one. I didn't get two. I didn't get three. I didn't get four. I didn't get five. And I didn't get six. I got Seven Otohime. Seven sound princesses. And you know what? I'm excited. I really like that because now I have great gifts to send to people for Christmas or even to sell to anybody out there who might be looking for a marveling ecological way. Ecological waste disposal. Think about it. You no longer have to run the water and waste precious, precious water to uh, protect your privacy.